The Story of Cain, Abel, and Seth. The man had relations with his wife Eve, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have produced a man with the help of the Lord. Next, she bore his brother Abel. Abel became a keeper of flocks, and Cain a tiller of the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought an offering to the Lord from the fruit of the soil, while Abel, for his part, brought one of the best firstlings of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering he did not. Cain greatly resented this and was crestfallen. So the Lord said to Cain, Why are you so resentful and crestfallen? If you do well, you can hold up your head. But if not, sin is a demon lurking at the door. His urge is toward you, yet you can be his master. Cain said to his brother Abel, let us go out in the field. When they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord asked Cain, Where is your brother Abel? He answered, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? The Lord then said, What have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the soil. Therefore, you shall be banned from the soil that opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. If you till the soil, it shall no longer give you its produce. You shall become a restless wanderer on the earth. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is too great to bear, since you have now banished me from the soil and I must avoid your presence and become a restless wanderer on the earth. Anyone may kill me at sight. Not so, the Lord said to him. If anyone kills Cain, Cain shall be avenged sevenfold. So the Lord put a mark on Cain, lest anyone should kill him at sight. Cain then left the Lord's presence and settled in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Cain had relations with his wife, and she conceived and bore Enoch. He also became the founder of a city, which he named after his son Enoch. Adam again had relations with his wife, and she gave birth to a son, whom she called Seth. God has granted me more offspring in place of Abel, she said, because Cain slew him. To Seth, in turn, a son was born, and he named him Enosh. Seth was 105 years old when he became the father of Enosh. Seth lived 807 years after the birth of Enosh, and he had other sons and daughters. The whole lifetime of Seth was 912 years. Then he died. At that time, men began to invoke the Lord by name.